So if you're one of the millions of contractors that's trying to figure out which marketing services do I actually need to grow my business, this video is for you. Hey everyone, this is Logan Schinholster with Contractor Growth Network and today I wanna to walk you through how you actually need to be generating leads and branding your company online because there's tons of misinformation out there and I wanna walk you through exactly how it works plus help you understand what you need to do for your specific business because not every company is the exact same. First off, let me take a step back and actually walk you through the real brief overview of how I got into the position that I'm in right now. So doing all the marketing and sales and everything, uh, helping out contracting companies, it all started six years ago. My dad with his pawn business, which I'm gonna talk to you about today, had a local marketing company. Well, the way that his local marketing company was actually trying to grow his pawn company didn't work. Maybe it worked for restaurants or for you know car dealerships, but it wasn't working for his specific pawn company. And that's when I stepped in, right? He was frustrated, he was spending a bunch of money, and it just really wasn't producing any sorts of results. So it was all very generic. It was a pretty low price point of a marketing company. So it was pretty affordable, you get what you pay for. And that's when I stepped in and has really, you know, it's all taken off ever since then. I learned this because I got thrown into having to figure it out, but this is exactly how it all works. And this is how we do everything for contractors. So this should give you a good understanding of how it works. Plus you should know exactly what is right for you. Your website is the most important part of everything you have online marketing wise. It's just as important offline too, because if you think about how people learn more about you or how they end up contacting you, maybe if you get a bunch of referrals, that's great, but if somebody refers you out, that person still goes to your website. So your website still needs to be fantastic, okay? so. First and foremost, make sure your website is set up to sell and it's set up to build trust. We're so focused on getting a website that gets to the top of Google, but unfortunately we sacrifice all trust building factors. For example, we put a ton and ton and ton of text on the website to get to the top of Google, but the website's so damn ugly that nobody buys from you anyway. And it doesn't work because if you're in a visually appealing or aesthetically pleasing, industry, remodeling, painting, landscape, pond work, things like that, you're getting the top of Google, but it's so ugly of a website that people go, oh wow, if they do work like how they do their website, I don't want them anywhere near my home. So that's the problem is that a lot of general companies out there will build your website and say, well, we got you the top of Google, but then nobody ends up turning into a lead because it's so damn ugly. So that's the very first part is you need to have a website that is set up to look great. It's set up to function well. The website that we build, it has all the storytelling aspects of it. It has persuasive tactics with it. It takes all the great stuff that Premier Ponds does and it puts it front and center on the website. Very simple for somebody to understand, right? And when you have a website that is simple and easy to use, then it makes it seem like your company is simple and easy to use. So it all plays together hand in hand. So if you have a chaotic website that's general or vague or does a very poor job of selling you as a company, you need to pivot. That's the first step. Second step is going to be blogging. So how do you get to the top of Google? This is where all your blogs come in. So this is what everybody hates to do, but writing content, writing helpful articles, they're helping people by showing your expertise on your website will get you to the top of Google. It, it's not quick, it's a lengthy, process that you have to be consistent with, but it will get you there. So this is Premier Ponza's analytics as far as where they're showing up in Google when somebody searches for specific search terms in Google. So pond maintenance cost, how soon can you put fish into a pond, koi fish behavior, pond company Maryland, average pond size, pond builders near me. These are all terms that Premier Ponds is showing up number one for. And a lot of these come from the blog. We don't just write a blog of how soon can you put fish in a new pond for the fun of it. We wrote that because people in their area are seeking this stuff out. And this blog builds the trust, builds the expertise because if somebody's searching for this stuff, they probably have a new pond that either they built or somebody else built. And if that's the case, it's most likely gonna have to get maintained or it's most likely gonna have to get redone because it's built improperly. And guess who does that? Premier Ponds. All they're doing is they're helping people out by 
answering the questions that people really want to know and doing it in a very helpful manner. And when they do that, Google rewards them by getting their blogs written to the top. And the more that people see your blogs and learn more about everything that you do and the more helpful you are, the more likely it is that when it's time to actually hire a company to help them take their pond over, guess who they're gonna call? And that is exactly how this all works, is this is the, the sales cycle in ponds and landscaping and remodeling and painting. They're, they're longer sales cycles, meaning nobody wakes up one day and says, oh, I wanna get a pond put in my, in my yard. Or, wow, you know what I should do today? I should put an addition on my home. It doesn't work like that. You need to understand that you are in this for the long haul and blogs will get you there. If you are not blogging, that should be the first step after you get your website ready to go Blogging should be the first thing that you do. Once you have your blogs all set up, you're good to go. That's really gonna be, you know, website step one, step two is gonna be your blogs. Step three is gonna be use social media to actually, you know, get more people into this pipeline. So understanding what people actually want to hop on your email list for is going to be key. And what I mean by that is just by saying, hey, join my newsletter, not many people will do that. But if you say, hey, we've got this fantastic guy that walks you through how to clean this pond that you just inherited, all you have to do is give us your name and your email and we'll send this to you. Well, now we've just helped somebody out and we have their information so we can start to do email marketing and nurture that relationship because they may not be ready to buy right now. They may not be ready to spend money with a marketing or with a pond company to clean their pond, but they will be eventually. And every time we send them an email, we inch them a little bit closer to actually making a purchase. And the more that we do it, the more likely it is that they're gonna make a purchase and when they're gonna make that purchase, because we're the ones helping them along the way, they're gonna hire us. So you're slowly building this pipeline and what you're doing is the more people you fill because you can't force somebody to buy, we can't force a relationship, but we can build out this pipeline. And as new people come in and we keep sending emails, the people that have been in it for a couple weeks, a couple months, slowly inch closer and closer and closer to buying at the same time as we're built putting brand new people in so we're literally just refilling this pipeline over and over and over and that is how email marketing and email nurturing works by getting new people in and then using your emails to actually at mass scale promote your services and promote your company so those are the big three uh, a bonus on top of that is going to be adding in google ads and google adwords uh, the services that we really go for which are the remodeling home building um, ponds, landscaping, painting, where it's a longer sales cycle. For Google Ads, it's a nice add-on to get people that are searching for pond maintenance company near me, so they're ready to buy today. But we always like to focus on definitely getting set up for blogging and then email marketing tied to social media. So that's how you know which package is for you. So if you have a website that isn't great, you need to first focus on that because it doesn't matter how many blogs you write or how much Facebook stuff you have. If your website is ugly, people will 100% go to your website before making a purchase and you don't want your website to mess it up for you. It's like having a bunch of one-star reviews, right? Don't give people a reason to not hire you. Two, if you have a great website, it builds trust, people love it, it has all the persuasive tactics that you need, great. Start your blog, start writing content to help people because the more helpful you are in turn, the more that they will buy from you. And last but not least, once you have that going and you're starting to rank in Google for keywords and, and terms that you want to be showing up for, that's when you can really start to double down on email marketing and Facebook ads and stuff like that. So figure out where in the process you are and go with that first because if you try to put the cart before the horse, you're gonna get burned. If you like videos like this, smash the like button because it really helps the YouTube algorithm and it lets me know, hey, I like this kind of stuff, right? Super helpful, thank you. So again, figure out what step of the process you're in and based on that, that's when you can go for different packages with different companies and stuff like that. Hope that helps. Have an awesome, awesome rest of your day. See ya.